Last week, we looked at my best tips for celebrating Halloween in a lockdown. But I had one serious problem. My incredibly serious problem is this. The best way to safely hand out candy to trick-or-treaters while social distancing is to use a PVC pipe candy slide. But I don't have any PVC pipe. I just don't have any PVC pipe. Oh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Otherwise that will ruin the rest of the video. This is DP Learn Now, I'm Jason. This channel is about lifelong learning. Subscribe if that sounds like your thing. Today, we are talking about the engineering process and how that can help us celebrate Halloween in a lockdown or quarantine. I love Halloween. I want to hand out candy to trick-or-treaters and the PVC pipe candy slide from Jamie and Jay at the Wicked Makers is the best way to do that safely while still social distancing. It's by far the best way. But, what do you do if you don't have any PVC pipe? Stop it! <laughs> this pipe is gonna ruin my video! As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, how do you make a candy slide if you don't have any PVC pipe? Let me show you. I decided to make a PVC pipe candy slide out of whatever I can find around my house. Let's have a look. Mm, banana. Ah, that's where it went. My hat. Hmm, could be useful. What else is in here? Oh, hi Sky. Good girl. <laughs> But best of all, a box. I could use a box. Right, let's start the building montage. Alrighty, as the whole point of this challenge was to make a PVC pipe candy slide when I didn't have any PVC pipe, I wanted to do it as simply as possible. And I know that I always have at least one cardboard box lying around, so what better thing to use than a cardboard box? When you're trying to build something to fix a problem, it's great to follow the engineering process. Crash Course Kids have a great video that summarizes that. I'll link the video in the description below. So I sliced open the box so as it could lay down flat. I folded the box along the length to make a nice V-shaped slide shape to direct the path of the candy. I taped the flaps down to increase the strength and then used more tape to make sure that it holds its shape. Tape is very useful when making candy slides. And again, because we are keeping things simple, I decided to use a garden chair to hold it up at the right angle. Here's what I came up with. Let me show you its features. The whole idea was to design a simple candy slide that could be made at home with whatever you happen to find around your home. And I think I achieved that very nicely. Does it look pretty? No. But does it work? Yes, yes it does. Let me show you. The cardboard is folded into a V shape, which directs the candy. The shape is held together just with tape and string, and string is used to tie it to the chair. We have a broom holding up the top bit, and that's about it. Also very importantly, it is greater than six feet in length, which makes it perfect for social distancing guidelines. As I said, simple. Anybody could do that. Okay, first test. I'm doing something easy. Can this roll down the candy slide? Let's see. Three, two, one, go! Success! But what about something flat, like a bag of chocolate? Three, two, one, go! No, it got stuck! This is a disaster! Candy bag, test two. Da! Okay, we have recalibrated the entire system, so now it should be much more straight. Let's try that again. Candy bag, test three. Yes! What about a single piece of candy? Yes! 
Now the most important question. Can you slide down a packet of Tim Tams? Have I mentioned Tim Tams? I love Tim Tams. Okay, testing a packet of Tim Tams. Yes! I love Tim Tams, they are delicious. And so I created a PVC pipe candy slide without any PVC pipe. Ah, get away! Just from things I found at home. Da! Da! Can you make a candy slide from things you have at your house? Let me know in the comments, quick! And remember, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Bye! This whole video was completely pointless. Look, Jason had some PVC pipe here the whole time. This is silly. Da! Da!